Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to a second channel video. Today we're going to do the Nahida story quest, or the character quest. I, if you don't know, I'm very busy with moving right now, and a little Snezhnaian spy told me that next patch, which is in a week from now, actually it's in two days, <laughs> it's in two days, um, the part two of that quest comes out, basically, or at least something relating to Nahihi. So, what I'm gonna do today is play through Nahihi's quest, uh, get the gist of it, um, actually care. It's gonna be a very chill video, it's early morning, I just wanna have a nice, nice little, I don't know, little hangout. It's been a while since we did like a, a story quest like this. I'm just gonna get started as I'm doing the intro, because usually I don't subtitle it on the second channel. Anyway, gonna unlock Nahida's first story quest. There's a bunch, like, I wanna do all of these, I might just do them on the second channel still, or on the stream. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do this one. Um, we'll probably get a little, a little, a little Simple talk, rule. right? No, Whoever pays the no most little talk. Dream of Awakening. Boss. Go to Samaru City. Well, uh, let's get it. I, again, it's just gonna be a really chill, quiet video. I'm gonna sit through this, minimum editing. Look at this slow old PC loading. <laughs> <laughs> on the new one, it's just like actually so fast. I think we would have been loaded in already. Hello, ah. traveler. Oh, have you ever Hello. heard of a moment of dreams? A moment of dreams? What are you on about, Pedrush? Oh, that sounds like some kind of sweet dream. <laughs> like, what are you on about, you weird floating baby? No, <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> it's the name of an event we started to hold regularly. Okay. Dreams have become quite the hot topic in Sumeru. Right. And many people are excited to share the dreams they've seen at night. Okay, fair enough. I assume this quest is a little bit older, so it's like... This was supposed to happen right after, I guess, we liberated Sumeru City from the Academia. The same goes for me. <clears throat> the last time I dreamed was when I was but a little child. Uh-huh. So I can't help but feel excited and nostalgic about dreaming again. That's great. Oh, right. Everyone's able to dream again now. Mm-hmm. Yes, we organized an event to give everyone with new dreams a platform to freely share their experiences. Whoa, a forum! And thus our event, a moment of dreams. A was forum born. of dreams. Okay, that's kind of so cute. It's kind of like a fireside chat. Yeah, that's how it's. You know what? That makes it sound extra wholesome. You could say that. We hear all sorts of wild and fabulous stories every day. Yeah. Really? Why not have a listen for yourselves? I can understand your curiosity. Yeah, but. To us, dreaming is as normal as breathing. That's fair. Wait, but if there are free drinks and snacks involved, then Paima might consider it. Of course. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you mean, you've already seen many dreams? I'm some kind of dream queen, if you will. Mm-hmm, but no need mm -hmm. to get so excited. It's really nothing special. It's pretty special. No, no, no. We need experienced participants like you to share your experiences with dreaming. <laughs> they make it sound like it's so magical when it's really just your brain reconstructing all the different things you've witnessed during the day. Please allow me to address you two as dream experts. How did you not use dream queen? I just said it. It sounded great. Sounds kind of weird. Exactly. Go with dream queen. Oh, expert. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon kind of likes it. I don't. Now oh. you seem interested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please, Titles follow me to the meeting place. It won't take much of your time. Okay. Rest assured, you'll find all this the is... drinks and snacks cool. you'd like there. Mm-hmm. Wow. What does he kind of sound sus now? Dating. <laughs> Sign us up. <laughs> uh, but wait, uh, Paimon's getting ahead of herself oh. again. Wow. We should see what the traveler thinks first. How polite, Paimon. Uh, why aren't you saying anything? I cannot speak. You know this. I just click little lines. Uh, you're the boss. I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> All right, hurry up and take us to be dream experts. You, what? <laughs> Very good. Follow me then. She acted as if I got a choice. I said you're the boss, and then she went, "Ha ha, gotcha." Lingering warmth. Do Chapter you know what's Act One. the most one. important part of being an expert? Uh, experience. <clears throat> Well, it. I suppose it must be accumulating knowledge and sharing your experiences? Sure. Nope! It's all about the title! From now on, Paimon Oh, see? Titles and food! Paimon, the dream expert! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, okay... You did this, Petrush. You're the reason she is like this now. You have... <laughs> you have made it. Sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh. We finally have some real dream experts joining us. Hey, it's me, the dream queen. 
esteemed expert, in this mm -hmm. way, please. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> now, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to ask them. I dream about my brother. He is lost in the sauce. <laughs> they must be dream experts from another <clears throat> land. Yes. Great. You don't dream enough. You're tired. Oh, I have a question. Me first. Me first. All right, Nasser, come on then. No rush. Everyone, please line up and ask in an orderly fashion. Uh-huh. After some initial commotion, everyone finally forms a queue. <clears throat> wow. I'm sorry for... Paimon didn't expect them to be this. so enthusiastic. I mean, I, I get it. My question is simple. Uh -huh. My everyday life is very difficult, so uh -huh. I would like to become a slime in my dreams. <laughs> How can I do that? Oh, that's a tough one. Basically, I, I, how do you even... If you want to become a slime, you, you gotta believe. You gotta believe, Atta. Oh, Hyman knows! Oh, here we Hyman's go. Hyman's had this kind of dream before, uh -huh. so... <laughs> she knows a thing or two. Oh, I want to hear this. The first time, mm -hmm. Hyman became an animal slime. Uh -huh. Hyman was shot by an adventurer's arrow <laughs> and flew in the sky all night long. I wonder, sometimes... I didn't know this for the longest time, but when the animal slime flies up and you pop it once, not even a shard, charge shot, it just flies away. The second time, Paimon became a dendro uh -oh. slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grooves <laughs> on her head. Oh, it was super painful. He's like, oh, maybe I don't want to be a slime, huh? That sounds kind of awful. The third time, Paimon became a cryo slime. <laughs> In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned into a smoothie. You know what? This, this message is more like slimes are sentient and we're animals for doing this to them. And the fourth time, Paimon became a powerful Geo slime and went to take revenge on oh. the forest boy that used to bully Paimon. Oh. I'm, Paimon doesn't want to come to my teapot anymore because I have 190 pigs in there. But then the boar showed up with all of its relatives there you go. and Paimon lost again. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? Because that's how the lives of slimes end. Sad. Because slimes are monsters, even though they look cute, <laughs> they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. <laughs> They're monsters even though they look cute. Mmm. That, yeah, to me, that's fair enough. That's a good argument to just bully them. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Bully Paimon. I won't interrupt, but at least she's grasped the, grasped the standard tropes of the adventurous stories. Yeah. I suppose you're right. They are monsters, after all. Oh, you know who else are monsters sometimes? Humans. I just want to experience a different life, uh -huh. but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. So true. Hmm. Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch. Or fish. Ask her how to become a fish. Looks like being you get an caught and eaten then too. Than yeah? <laughs> Be is easier. Next! Next! Oh! It's my turn! Uh-huh. Hilman. <sighs> Esteemed expert. Yes. I want to know queen. what posture I should sleep in so I can have the same dream as the one I had last night. Oh, what did you dream of? What did you dream of? You finally got together with the with the lover of your life. I say you need to have both arms under your pillow, on your tummy, and then one leg up 90 degrees. That's the most optimal sleeping posture. I don't care. Yes, expert. Make light on us, please. Hey, you're supposed to be helping. No, you're the expert. You um, dragged me into this. First, why don't you oh, tell Paimon see? about the dream you want to have again? No, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Oh, it's quite oh. ordinary. I sat and chatted with my wife on a sunny day, oh. listening to the breeze well, blowing through the valley. To be fair, chatting with his wife means that it is the love of his life, so I'm kind of right still. Why don't you just find your wife and talk with her? <laughs> wait for a dream. Because in real life, she's so annoying. <laughs> for once, she was kind of nice in the dream to chat to. Well, uh, unfortunately, oh, no. she passed away. No! Why did I say this? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh! Uh, sorry. Paimon should never assumed anything. Shit, the mood was so like light and funny, I thought this would never happen. Oh no. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. I just want a chance to see her again. I'm so sorry, Ilman. Oh. Have you tried looking at her photos right before you fall asleep? Yeah, it's not really about posture. 
What you think Maybe. about right before falling asleep is probably way more important. You need to reproduce the shape of a brain with your body so that your brain th or, or a heart. Do a heart shape. Oh. Is that all I have to do? I think you need to wish hard enough. Think about you, it. You will if it into you're life. You're the one thinking about her and you're the one that'll be dreaming about her. Then it'll be easier to connect your thoughts and dreams. Uh-huh. You do have a point. I'll give it a try tonight. Thanks for your wise advice. Best of luck, champ. I'm sorry. Oh, my turn, my turn. Uh-huh. Um, I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. Okay, Katya. I want to bring the souvenir box to my room into my dream. Okay, Debbie. I dreamt of a raven flying over the wasteland last night. Ooh. Does that have any kind of special meaning? Yeah, you're gonna die. Hey, no rush! One at a time! <laughs> it's three people. After a long time, the experts finally get their message <sighs> deleted. questions were way too difficult. We don't actually know That's anything subjective. more than they do. Lie. We're just more experienced dreamers. That's all. They didn't really care about the answers. Vivid dreams are just really excit. Wait, vivid dreams are just really exciting to them. Oh, to them. I get it. I'm reading it with the wrong intonation. Vivid dreams are just really exciting to them. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question uh -huh. than to focus on the answer itself. So true. Right now, these people are like wanderers Bob? who starved for three days and three nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. Uh -huh. Any explanation they get now is like pure sustenance Yeah, placebo. To them, no matter how good the explanation really is. Mm-hmm. Oh, and now that Paimon has said that, you know who comes to mind? Nahida. Oh, true. That's Bingo. what this is about. If she was Bingo. Here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. And then she speaks in her head again. Unfortunately, she's super busy right now and may not have time for gatherings like this. Busy with what? Dear experts, hello. We have another guest who would like to consult you. Nahida. Uh, but you saw how we answered all the questions just now. Mm -hmm. We're not really all that knowledgeable. Says that after having answered a million questions. Ah. But this guest is rather special. Whoa! Whoa! It's Nahihi! My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about <laughs> such an interesting place? <laughs> well, you were busy and you're a little bean. Huh? Nahida? How did you get he here? He bows down. Whoa, what a cool bow animation. I've never seen that. Oh, he's so polite. He bowed and walked away. Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after mm -hmm. all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Okay, well, you figured it out anyway. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Why not? Oh, right. If there's anyone that understands dreams, oh, right. it's you. You should be able to help us answer all these questions. No, she's going to say it's the journey along the way. It's not about the answer. You're not wrong. All right, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. Oh. How can he chat with his wife? Uh, uh, oh, they don't. They're scared now. Huh? What's wrong? You were all so excited a minute ago. <laughs> Why the sudden hesitation? I think they need to. I'm, but I, I think I need to learn how to speak. I think they need to build up some courage first. Even so, it's not like I look super intimidating or anything, right? No, you look pretty cute. And in terms of reputation and renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru. But I'm a normie. And they didn't even flinch at you. Yeah, you're an archon. <laughs> There's quite a bit of nuance. Alas, the interesting questions have all vanished in an instant. Ah, instant. come on, don't be like this. It appears I'm the one no. the fun here. I'll see myself out. Did you not hear what I accidentally said to the man? I think I am the one that is spoiling the fun. Huh. That's not true, Nahida. Okay, stop being a bum. I don't want to get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. <laughs> He's nodding. He's like, yeah, get out of here, Nahida. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. <laughs> the water is more secure and settled, but it has lost its free-flowing <laughs> nature from the river. So true. I just want it to be another drop in the water, not the cold and restrictive container. Come on. 
Is she doing what I think she is? What is is pick meing? <laughs> She's sulking. Sulking? Um. Sulking hey, box. It's all right, everyone. No need to be shy. The Dendro Archon is really nice, so please <laughs> just go ahead and ask. Otherwise, she'll leave. <laughs> uh, all right, I'll give it a try. Okay, I'm proud of you. Oh, it's the slime guy. <laughs> it's the slime guy. Ah, oh, look at th this. Is actually, so cute. I've never seen this bow. The bow is so cute, little wave. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. <laughs> Maybe a finch or fish is more. Yeah, yeah, we've heard that me. before. Bird guy or fish guy. I see. Is a finch a bird? So you want to Let become a small up. animal in your dreams, right? A finch. Why do you think that sounds good to you? Because it's like you experience something different. Finch. It is a bird, yes, my knowledge is on point. <laughs> I guess I just want to experience something different. I told different. you. My everyday life is nothing but the same. Mm -hmm. The sky is right above me and the ocean just over the horizon. Yeah. Yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. All right, time to cut those ties and run free, young man. So you want to experience something new in your dreams? Yeah. Mm, sorry, exactly. I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? She's right. <sighs> because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Yeah. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, yeah. but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. Yeah. By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, mm -hmm. and I have no more freedom. This is way too sad and real and deep. I hate it. But if that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. <laughs> really, no. The reason is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into. Your okay. mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. Sure. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? We need to overthrow the system. <laughs> I don't know everything that Abolish you're money. <laughs> but how about replacing your hammer? Replacing your hammer? This is a metaphor. Huh? Replacing my hammer? Uh-huh. That's right. Having worked for such a long time, you of all people must know what makes a good hammer. <laughs> Well, of course. A good hammer needs to be heavy enough to drive mm -hmm. the nail in with just a couple taps. Mm -hmm. And the handle has to have a good grip to it, not uh -huh. too smooth. But not too heavy that it tires out your arm. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. Uh-huh. You should replace it's it. It's little things. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Yeah. Maybe some ornaments. Like little plastic gems. Fur or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. Aw. <sighs> That makes sense. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. But that's a boost of energy in the same monotonous life. All right, whatever. A new sense of adventure often begins with the little things in life. I do absolutely agree that the little things in life are extremely underrated. You don't need to become a bird in the air or a fish in the sea. You only need to do your best in life. And all those things you cherish will become your source of happiness. This is true, but it doesn't change the fact we're, we're trapped in the... Dog water system. Yes. yes. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye-opener for me. Let's go, Atta. I'll go and pick out a new hammer right away. Mm -hmm. No, I should make one of my own. Ooh. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. <laughs> He's excited. I'm happy for him. That's our Nahida. Only clap, you clap, would clap. know how to get right to the heart of the problem. Mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't really understand the problem. No, then you're, you would not, you would not save the people. Huh? Huh? I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. But again, this is about tired and energy, not about the, the will to go to work and have a nice day. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really surprised me at the time. Mm-hmm. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe it's a, like, butts and farts, and he thought it was funny. And then he giggled, and he looked back, and was like, Hell yeah. I think I understand. You were just drawing from a similar example. Mm hmm After observation, I know this kind of behavior motivates people. Mm hmm But why is that? And the people you love drive you. 
Is it because of excitement, anticipation, or helplessness? A bit of, a bit of all of them, know. you know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's you still could. difficult to fully grasp his feelings. But you just don't do it. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these kinds of things. It's the god of wisdom. It's fine. <laughs> That's why I was a bit nervous just now. Mm -hmm. But luckily, seeing his happy face in the end reassured me that I didn't say anything wrong. Right. Don't mind me, though. This is just my way of learning. I know. I'm not minding you. Happy to help if you ever need it. Hey! Don't forget about Paimon! Everyone knows that Paimon's also super skilled at reading people's feelings. Okay. Read someone's feelings, then. Thanks, you too. That makes me feel a lot better. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? It's just a Q&A. Oh, I this man. already asked the experts my question earlier. Okay. But I wanted to hear the, the Dendro experts. Archon's response too. Let's hear it, Nahihi. What should I do if I want to see my deceased wife in my dreams every night? She's gonna say you gotta move on, champ. Hmm, longing for the deceased. Is she remembering something about Greater Lord Rukdevata? Nah, she shouldn't be able to remember anymore. Even if you keep reliving those beautiful <laughs> memories, it'll only highlight see? the emptiness in your real She's life. gonna say, get over it. If your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, oh, would she? No. No. I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. What is it then? I don't know. Maybe it's because I miss her too much. Yeah. But it's really as if she had come back to life in my dreams. Uh-huh. She even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, that's kind of cool. We can pick up our conversation right where we last left off. Uh huh. That's really amazing. <laughs> Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely rare. Okay. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. Yeah. But the more vivid she appears, mm -hmm. the emptier I feel and the more painful it is when I wake up. I don't know whether to call it a blessing or a curse. Why do you want it to happen all the time, then? Maybe all of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. It definitely is. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? Oh. I don't know. I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life with her. What a cutie. I really felt like I was ready to move on. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. Right. Huh. You know, they say that whatever's on your mind is what goes into your dreams. Yes. But dreams are and will forever be just dreams. <laughs> we are people living in the real world. Yeah, it's true. She's right. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. She's right. All it'll do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. It's true. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. Mm -hmm. I still need to take care of our child. Yeah. And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. He definitely didn't sleep enough. They, the bags <sighs> are actually real. Anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. The advice was, move on, bro. We have a third one, right? Hmm, I'm a little worried about him. Right. I hope he can find a way to cheer up soon. I'm sure he can. I think he I can some handle time. things from here. You'll need to stay here if you find it boring. Mm -hmm. You're here to have a good time, after all. Boring? I didn't say it was boring. Debbie! Pollen! Check on Ilman, who is depressed. <laughs> what a quote. <laughs> what a tagline. Check on Ilman, who is depressed. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Debbie? If it isn't, well, I haven't seen them for a long time. What are you, what are you on about, Pedrush? Should I continue expanding the scale of this event? Are you looking at financial reasons? I see everything. Nasser? Wow, it's really the Dendro Archon. Yeah, two Dendro Archies. How cute is that? Pollen. Or maybe a more exciting love life. <laughs> uh, nah. 
Who am I kidding? <laughs> what the? The Dendro Archon made a really good point. See, he's not sad. He's getting Another over it. Recurring dream? Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if it's some kind of hint. Oh. That, but you said the same in your dream, Debbie. Another oh. Yeah. Both uh, dialogues are the same. What do you want, Pedrush? I didn't expect the Dendro Archon to attend this event in person. Uh huh. It's like a dream. I might as be some sorrow man. You never know in Sumeru. Stupid ass plot. What That's a lucky it. day. Just wait till my friends hear about this. Yeah, dude. Go flex on him, bro. Pollen. I wish my dreams could be a little more practical. Uh huh. You know? Maybe something like becoming <laughs> rich and famous overnight. I see. Well, that's not really a dream, is it? That's just kind of what happens. Or you want it to happen. Anyway, Ilman, who is depressed. Hello. Are you feeling any better now? Let's fix it, champ. Yes. I think the Dendro Archon made a really good point. Yes. I Ooh. need to stop dwelling on my wife like Rhyme? this. And move on with my life. Sick rhymes. Sick bars. Now that I think about it. My wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my dreams. Oh, he's gonna bury her favorite, like, necklace there or some shit. I know where that place exists in reality, mm -hmm. but it's a bit far and dangerous. I don't dare to go there on my own. I'll take you there. But at the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I'll be able to move on once I see that. There's nothing there. Sounds like a great idea. Otherwise, I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in a haze. Yeah. Like I'm only half awake. Of course. Once I can stop dreaming about that place, I'll probably be able to get my life back together. Let's get moving. Actually, you two are adventurers, mm -hmm. right? If it's okay with you, could you escort me to that place? Of course. Yeah. Be a good chance for us to unwind. For us, even if you can't see your wife there, we did nothing. Taking in some nice scenery will definitely help cheer you up. She's right. Yeah, I hope so too. She's right. All right, go ahead and get yourself ready then. Speaking of longing for the deceased, I'd better tell Nahid about the Greater Lord Rukdevata. What? What? Nahid should at least know. Why is she looking at? She read her memories. She once existed in this world? Really now? We're telling her? Hey, I read your mind. Are you headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? Yes. Also, you used to live, but you died before, but now you respawned as a tiny you, your little branch from the previous you. <laughs> huh? Wait, aren't you supposed to be answering questions? Yeah, little nosy baby. I just finished. And they really got a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. So many interesting and novel thoughts. Okay. Anyway, it looks like you're going somewhere. Why don't you take me with you? Because, no. Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. <laughs> he I also imagine you must have many other more. important things to deal with. Yeah. No need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along oh. if I didn't have a good reason. Oh. I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Okay. Huh. I didn't know the great Dendro Archon <laughs> could become puzzled too. Yes. <laughs> I'm not all that different from you, you know. I'm all just right, a tiny baby. Go. We can talk on the way. That speaks. I'd better go with her. The whole Greater Lord Rukhavada thing will take some explaining. Really? We're dropping this honor. I cannot believe it. Did I you wish guys change? My dreams... No, you still want to be rich. Debbie! After talking. I feel a bit sleepy. Oh, it's all a dream, Debbie. Maybe I should find a place to sleep. Yeah. Or go to the cafe? Those are two very different <laughs> directions. Maybe I should just be lazy. Or I should not be lazy. Instead. <laughs> what are you thinking, old man? Everyone? My manuscript got rejected again. Unlucky. Those editors at Yai Publishing House are really strict. You know, I whoa. I was actually thinking of Yai Publishing House when Nahihi said wait, this is far. When Nahihi said, um like gain a lot of new experiences and like perspectives on things, I was like, Nahida and Yai would have like a really cool and interesting novel writing session for sure. And then he brought it up. Really? You think that every monster likes to compose poetry? Uh-huh. You are sorely mistaken. Okay. Well, I didn't really expect that to be the case. 
I only know of Benty the Bard. <laughs> to be fair, if you like poetry and you're from Mondstadt, you probably stay in Mondstadt, right? Because if you if you move to Samaria, you're like, oh yeah, no, 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 none of that poetry bullshit. <laughs> Hello. This is it. Ah, it's always nice to go for a leisurely stroll. Hey, it's not leisurely. Huh. Do adventurers often go to places like this? Yeah, of course. We usually journey through far dangerous places out of dangerous, dangerous. Huh. I guess so. Mm hmm. So, this is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? She's like, this is kind of boring. <laughs> yes, for the most part. Our place is on the summit, just oh, up ahead. Okay. When I saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary, mundane topics. Mm hmm. I'd tell her about our daughter, Hydar. Hydar. And she always listened intently. I see. She would also reminisce about the past with me. Mm hmm. Telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes. Yeah. It feels like no matter how long we may chat, it's never enough. It's never real. Sometimes, it's the little things in life that matter the oh, most. Oh yeah, go ahead and quote Nikita, why don't you? Why don't you get a new hammer? <laughs> He's like, but I'm not a carpenter. Yeah, but if you get a hammer and you write your daughter's name on it. This is the part I'm a little puzzled about. Okay. I am very familiar with dreams, and normally, they lack logic and continuity. Yeah. But you said she could remember what you had told her before, right? Yeah. That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now she's doing the same in my dreams. I'm sorry, I need to do this because that Nahida pose is exquisite for the thumbnail. <clears throat> she always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. Mm -hmm. The fact that she can remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. You're being tricked by the abyss. Whoa, that's pretty weird. Well, dreams are kind of weird to begin with. <laughs> that's Paimon's explanation for everything that's weird. It's like, well, those things are usually kind of weird, so to be honest, like, you know. However, <clears throat> the problem is that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Yeah. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. True. For example, a loud noise outside your window in the real world could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. It's true, and then you're like, what? Th oh, that was such a nice dream. What the hell was I dreaming about? Another example. If you're thirsty in the real world, then you yeah. might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dream. I, I've got to be trudging through a desert. It's trudging? Tr tr trudging. I've never said that word of my life. I'm going to be trekking through a desert soon, so I better take a sip of water. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. Again with the statistics, bro. I don't understand <clears throat> it either. But I have no reason to suspect or reject these dreams. Yes, you do. They're too beautiful. You're being bamboozled. I don't know what the person is getting from it, but you're being bamboozled. But oh, or maybe I still the daughter. Want to figure out the knows how he's sad. Why. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. <clears throat> That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. Maybe his daughter tried to bless him by being like, you know what? I'll just let you see mom every night. And then some wizard made a made a dream catcher. Instead of a dream catcher, it's like a dream amplifier. And she put her like, okay, I'm going. <laughs> I'm going inside. Let's go. Just let's think go. Of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. Mm-hmm. You better just put me up there. Nope, never lucky. Climb to the summit. Where from here? Yeah, this is what we call climbing. This modern day climbing. You don't have to be fit anymore. <laughs> you just need to master <laughs> magics. You know I've always I said this I've said this so many times. I think I even said it in the supercut, the original one. That I wanted to <laughs> be a wizard like lisa right but it's just because i'm lazy look lisa's lazy too actually it makes sense yeah yeah because look you can do this when you're a wizard you don't even have to walk be fit or anything well he really wasn't kidding yeah. this place definitely isn't safe uh-huh no matter <clears throat> we'll just finish them quickly oh huh are you going to fight too, Nahida? Hell yeah! Of course! 
This is all part of our little trip. Okay. Okay, Nahihi. I see you. It's a trial, Nahihi. Yeah, Yo, what this? Bam. Boom, virgin. She's kind of not in the first still, my dear. But still. Fuck. We got him, lads. They're dead. <laughs> what a scenic dia e Log. The scenery here is amazing! Mm hmm It also seems like a great spot for eating snacks and taking a nap. Yeah. Paima wouldn't mind spending some time here every day either. Ha <sighs> ah, oh you want to do commissions every time. We go to Catherine, you're like, hey Catherine, can we get some commissions? And I'm like, please no. We don't need the, we don't need them more. We don't need anything, we don't even get primo gems for it. And then I want to rest here every day, too. I've yet to see anything strange about this place. Mm-hmm. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Mm-hmm. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize No, dreams. no, no. It's a story. It's a character story. There has to be one greater evil. His wife must be a really amazing person. So true. Huh? Wait, where'd he go? All right, it's cursed. <laughs> it's doomed. Oh. <sighs> So you are waiting for me here? Well, guess what? Uh, I've brought someone amazing with me today. <laughs> when the Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me. Whoa! I could hardly believe it. Yeah, so can I. I'll bring Hydar <laughs> once I'm more familiar with the way here. She's been telling me that she really misses you. Someone save Ilman. Huh? What's wrong with him? He's daydreaming. There's nobody there. He's sleepwalking. Sleep talking. <sighs> Wait, Minar. Don't go that way. Don't follow her. It's dangerous. Actually, do follow her, and we follow you uh -oh. and protect He's you. He's gonna fall. Catch him. Catch him. This guy got a cool pose, too. You rush to stop Ilman, who is walking towards the edge of the cliff. No! <laughs> Luckily, he didn't fall. We saved but him. What was all that rambling about? He also looks like he's passed out. Gonna do another one of these. I'm sorry, but the low point, low point, kind of good low point, low point moment. Boop. He's in the dream now. What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams he subscribed to us earlier. Yeah. Oh, so he fell asleep? No. And started to have the same dream? He got possessed. I find it a little strange as well. But we mustn't awaken someone while they're sleepwalking. That's true. All we can do is sit here and wait. I have heard that before. <sighs> Hello. Huh? Hey. Minar. Where's Minar? Never has been. Oh, good. You're finally awake. Hello. What happened? You were sleepwalking and almost fell. Huh? Sleepwalking? Yeah, dude. Oh, right. It was all just a dream. Yeah, dude. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there. I know. And walked over to her. I... we... no. After I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. I told her to stop because of the cliff. Oh no, don't tell me she fell off the cliff. Well then maybe the dreams are over. And then she seemed to suddenly disappear. Oh. A strong wind started to blow around me and the sky grew dark. Okay. When I realized something wasn't right, I woke up. Good morning. That sounds pretty wild. Definitely. Maybe you were just too tired. He's definitely too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday and I don't feel very sleepy now. Yeah, well, if you sleep, walk during your sleep, you're still gonna get tired, bro. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Okay. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. Well, didn't we come here to fix the whole dream issue? I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it weren't for you, I would have fallen. Yeah, no need to apologize. Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Uh, oh. Where are we headed? Okay. Nahida, okay. what's on your mind? Paimon's a little worried now. Alright. We still don't have enough evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions yet. Sure. But I'm concerned that Ilman's case may not be unique to him. Okay. Oh, right! 
Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Hmm, maybe this phenomenon is already spreading. Right. And not only at a moment of dreams, there may be people like this all across Sumeru. Yeah? We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. Is that how this story goes? Then there's no time to lose! Let's head back! Sure. Well, stop standing there, Ilman! Let's go! <laughs> Everyone's sprinting, what? Ilman, don't turn around, Ilman, I see you. Alright, well, he's gone. Return to a moment of dreams. Really? You know, usually I kind of get an idea of where we're headed with these quests. I am clueless now. Like, even Ayato's made more sense. It was like, yeah, dude needs to organize a bunch of stuff. It's kind of sick. It's kind of epic. And then this is just not here nor there. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Watch this parkour. Hoya! Insane. Hello. <laughs> we were actually sprinting back already. Back. How'd it go? Awful, we almost died. We have an emergency on our hands. Yes. Please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams, they mustn't try to visit or recreate the locations <laughs> and scenes that they have been experiencing in them. Okay. What? Uh, all right. If that's the wish of the great Dendro Archon. So it is a bit. There is a greater evil. But could you at least tell me what happened? No. You all look so serious. People's lives are at stakes. Pedrush. Oh, we're telling him. Yeah, sure. We ran back here, but we I can take see. time to explain. I never knew even a dream could be so dangerous. So true. Don't worry. I'll be sure to notify all the event participants nice. and inform the other staff members about what has happened. Huge. Using the event registration list, I should be able to contact more people that were interested in dreams Winning. and warn them about the situation. Huge. Thank you. That would be very helpful. Very unrelated to anything, but I want some tea with honey right now. That'd be nice. Let me confirm if all of today's participants are still here. Oh no. The guy is gone. Atta has already left. Yeah. It seemed that he was on his way to make a hammer, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh my god, Katya. Oh, wait a second. Where's Katya? Oh my god. Has anyone seen Katya? Oh no. Has she already left? Oh, she's right there. Oh, I, I think she already Frick. left. She said there was somewhere she wanted to go. Oh no, does all remember where Katya dreamt of? Oh no. Did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Yes. Can you tell us where she went? Debbie, Debbie, we know you and Katya are tight, so you better know where she went. Yes, she okay. did briefly mention it. Somewhere near... Chatrakam. Chatrakam Cave. Ah, I love Chatrakam Cave. Alright, thank you. We'll go look for her. Chop, chop. Please help us tell the others not to do anything reckless. <laughs> sure thing. That's pretty obvious advice. <sighs> Who would have known things would have turned out like this? Oh, Debbie? Debbie, you got something to say? Debbie, it sounds like you know more, Debbie. Dream of awakening. Wait for it, wait for it. Dream of falling. Uh-oh. What are you thinking now, Debs? Why am I so sleepy? Debs? It's just sleepwalking. They're really overreacting. Nah, Debs, you're sus. <laughs> Getting really sleepy. Mm hmm. Pollen. What's the all of a sudden? Commotion. It's about commissions. Uh, give me a second. Hey. What happened? I need to ask someone and find out. Nah, you can't, bro. It's just a dream. How bad could it be? Careful, Nasser. You gotta tell your homie some more stuff if you keep saying random garbage. Some people are having pretty realistic dreams. Uh huh. Good deal. What are they so worried about? All right, dude. If you don't care about your own safety, whatever. <sighs> Hi, Dar. Hey, you said you'd stop. Do you think the same would be funny? Hi, Dar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do. All right. Should I get up to the cave? To the caves. To the caves. We must mine diamonds. I'm running. I'm going there. I'm getting some sweet flowers. I don't know. It feels like... Maybe Debbie has something to do with it. But it really feels like maybe the Abyss or someone is like in interjecting and stupid ideas into their dreams. Oh, she's just hanging out with mushrooms. Look, she's sitting over there. Yeah. It's surrounded by monsters. Yeah, but they're homies though. Come on, let's rescue her. She doesn't need rescuing. What do you mean? The attacking monsters. They're having a peaceful conversation. What do you mean attacking monsters? Defeat the attacking monsters who are depressed. 
who are all together listening to a little story. Oh, is he fighting? Nope, they're just doing little flips. I don't get it, man. We have, we have ruined the balance here. Katya, let's go Katya. Katya. Alright, or, or don't. I don't, know. I don't know, man. I think uh, these dudes gotcha. were like, either fine or... I don't know, but... Alright, I'll blow them up. I'm sorry, friends. The Dendro Archon told Get me to do it. Get him. Get him, Lumine. They're dead. She seems to be in the same condition as Ilman earlier. Look at this little plant. Look at her cute. I like the bucket. Yes, but luckily she hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. Mm -hmm. Let's carefully move her somewhere safer. We just made this place, quote unquote, safe. Maybe the monsters were protecting her. See you tomorrow, Professor Aisha. Oh, Lordy. I'm sorry. I got a call. It scared the poop out of me. Professor Aisha? Oh, that's that's who called me. Professor Aisha, no way. Uh, one second. I'm sorry. Need to make sure it's nothing important. <laughs> Just the times that I'm not editing anything. Hi, this is real life. <laughs> okay. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Professor Aisha. <sighs> Huh? Why? Why am I back here again? Nobody is here. You were dreaming. Dreaming? Yeah. But what about Professor Ice? You were dreaming. Oh, I see. Yes. It was all just a dream. Indeed. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. Do you think is this the name of the plant you were looking for? Huh? What's it? The state of the flower. Nearly 20 years, and it still hasn't bloomed. <sighs> <sighs> if that's the problem you're having, I think I think you have a pretty neat life so far. Does it have something to do with your dream? Please, tell us what you mean. Maybe it's like she's not getting fruits for all the work she's doing, and that's the metaphor with this plant. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still feeling a little groggy. Please give me a moment here. Okay. <sighs> Whew. <sighs> <laughs> All right, where to start? Yes. Right, this plant. Yeah. So, Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. It's gonna bloom once you achieve what you told Professor Aisha you wanted to achieve. She was a good friend of my parents and my first real tutor. Mm -hmm. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. I see. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, yeah. she was also skilled in combat mm -hmm. and would accept lots of work from the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> she's in shock. She's like, what? Oh, so you mean she's left on an adventure? She's retired. Yes. When I was about ten years old, she oh. told me that she must go look for the secrets of the Abyss. Really? And that she would be gone for a long time. Yo, we're gonna meet this person eventually. I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. I didn't know what the Abyss was. I just knew that she was like family to me. Do you know what the Abyss is now? She hugged me, and we cried for some time until <laughs> I fell asleep. <laughs> when I woke up, I was already back home. You were a little baby. She still decided to leave. Yeah, of course. But had left behind a letter for me saying that I was the person she cared for most in this world. What a cutie. She claimed that... Investigating the abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they and care she goes about. She being shocked again. She's right. I really want to meet this professor now. She had obtained some important evidence during her past adventures. Oh? If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. All right, guys, let's go explore her house. Guess no Ad Aster Abyssosk isn't just a slogan. Uh-huh. She left a seed in the letter. Okay. Telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed... Then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. <laughs> and it's just... <laughs> it's just a flowerless plant. Imagine. That'd be so funny. Oh, that'd be so good. She said she looked forward to seeing me all grown up. Mm -hmm. But strangely, I've tried watering it, feeding it, everything I could think of. But I've never been able to get it to bloom. Katya, you need to learn to live independently and then it will bloom automatically. I even went to ask the Immorta researchers, and they couldn't explain it either. Shocker. May I have a look at the plant? Yes. Of course. 
I was hoping the great Dendro Archon could help me solve this problem. So I just use some fertilizer, give it two to three weeks, and it'll be fine. <laughs> Let me see. Hmm. Aww. <laughs> that was also a cool pose. Huh? We've never seen that look on Nahida's face before. I know, it was kind of cool, right? For a thumbnail. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Wait, could it be? An expression pleading for help. <laughs> I'm recording that as well for the thumbs up. An expression pleading for help. Oh, by the way, the reason I keep recording is because I'm recording with OBS, and for some reason the quality is worse on this computer with that. So if I want to take a screenshot for a thumbnail, I record with the other thing so that it's more high definition. Anyway, help. She, she looks a little unwell. Hold on, we'll be right back. Uh-oh. Whoa, transition moment. What a fade, whoa. What's wrong, Nahida? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either? No, it reminds her of herself. No, I immediately understood what's happening with that plant. Uh-huh. I'm just not sure if I should say it. Okay, I want to hear it. This plant is not known to the academic world. Mm-hmm. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some special means. And it doesn't bloom. Judging by its features, yeah. I can tell from the moment it sprouted it'll <laughs> never be able to bloom. <laughs> I figured. It, it can't be. What do you mean it can't be? It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger. Of course. And was prepared to never return. How are we surprised about any of this? From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. Sure, definitely. But also, we we just talked about the fact that she is going to fight the Abyss. Or, like, explore them. And has prior information about the Abyss. Of course it's dangerous. And she knew it was dangerous. She knew. When forced to confront such brutal truths, people may break down into tears, mm -hmm. talk nonsense, mm -hmm. or lose their tempers. Yeah. I know she has to face the truth, but... At the same time... The truth. I don't want to hurt her. The truth. Tell me, what should I do? The truth, but like smoothly. Yeah, that's a tricky one. I'll tell her. Um, seems like I'll tell already her. got a Just good... Shut up. <laughs> I'm not even just pushing it all on you. I don't care. What if she just gets angry at you instead? Then I'll take the anger, I don't care. It's alright. There are all kinds of people, mm -hmm. and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. I've seen many situations like this before. There's always a way to work through it. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Of course. Let's go back and tell her. She's gone. Whoa, another cool transition? Whoa! Whoa, that's crazy! Huh? It'll never bloom? No. But, how's that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, mm -hmm. doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? Yes. All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away. Yes, exactly. It seems like that may be exactly what your teacher intended. She meant to convey a message through the plant's true nature. Are you saying she never intended to return? <laughs> Seriously? The odds of her returning so are everything slim. everything she said yes. was a lie? No. But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, she hoped that you would be able to come to grips with such a cruel parting a little later in life. Yeah, she really cared about you. Yeah, her love, care, and attention to you, all those warm moments were real. Yes. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. That's a, that's a great way to word it. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just... <laughs> Just so much to take in. I think she's right. I think at the start it'd definitely be to everyone's reaction. The dreams are so beautiful. Yet reality is heartlessly cold. Mm -hmm. I really thought she had come back. I had so much to tell her. Oh, I can understand your grief. We're trying to investigate these dreams. These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. Wasn't there someone that, like, left the academia and is also still using dream power for some? Maybe that's what's happening. <sighs> really? Yes. Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation is completed, 
Please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. Yes, what she says. I see. Thank you for rescuing me. And sorry for the trouble. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. <laughs> That's, that is very lucky. To be fair, those mushrooms were not going to attack you. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. Your memories, bro. Your memories. And in your heart. In your head. Thanks, Traveler and Paimon. You don't need physical things. She seems to have finally accepted the truth. Yes. But I think she'll still need a long time to come to terms with her feelings. I know. I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. Mm-hmm. It was almost like a gentle ring, arriving just in time to put out a fire that was about to spread. Mm -hmm. It's because people have something called empathy. Well, <laughs> yeah, everyone clearly has empathy, guys, definitely. Empathy? Hmm, I see. Wait. This is valuable knowledge indeed. I want to hear Paimon describe what empathy is. What? How is she? How do you know the term? Okay. By the way. You said there may be something Bruh. that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might be? Half the people that heard that don't know what empathy means. Yes. I'm mad. What's common between Ilman and Katia's cases is that they've both lost someone dear to them. Yes. And now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. Mm -hmm. And the people feel more real than anything a regular dream could hope to create. I know. We have gotten to this point before. Instead of interpreting it as a Oops. result of their Excuse longing, me. I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Someone is taking advantage of their longing. I know, but what could be the motive? Yeah, they're just causing these people to dream. What are they after? They don't like them. They're this jealous. This is exactly what we need to investigate. Anyway, let's pay another visit to a moment of dreams. Okay. I have a bad feeling about all this. I hope things haven't gotten any worse. Let's see Hammer Man. Hammer Bro. Hammer Bro. Where'd she go? Hammer Bro of the... Yes. I see everything. You see everything, huh? We were gonna tell her about Greater Lord of That's crazy as well. I still, I'm still not over that. That's so random that she suddenly was like, yeah. Let's just tell her about, or that we were like, yeah, let's tell her about Baruch and she's dead. I saw her. She's dead. We're back. How's everything here? Not good. She's dead. <sighs> I am so sorry, Great Dendro. Wait, Arbon. everyone's dying. We're still trying to figure out how to explain the whole thing <laughs> to everyone. Uh huh. Because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here, even if they were completely unaware of the danger. Okay. But some of them have already fallen asleep, <laughs> and they haven't woken up for a long time. I feel a long there's time. nothing we can do about it. What, like it. one night? A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have enough staff members to handle this. Yeah. Just as I expected. It seems my guess was correct. Oh yeah, make sure to not tell us anything. It's the Dendro Archon. She's back. Get her. <laughs> uh, what happened? What, why have we been gathered here? You, what? How is no one... Oh, whatever. Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. Uh-huh. But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. <laughs> Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Yes. Huh? But... No. I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on others. Yeah, but if in real life you go and recreate whatever happens in your dreams, it will have effect on others. We've already met two people who ran off to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. He's gonna be like, I don't care, you're just a baby, you don't know anything. That's right! These aren't just dreams! You're also it's just serious. a baby. <laughs> Alright, I get it, I get it. No, you don't. So does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams. Yes, but you probably won't be getting these nice dreams anymore. Yeah, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. Not necessarily. It will depend on the result of our investigation. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro oh. Archon, but... Careful there. We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who are very close to us. Yep, I'm offended. How dare you say that? They all seemed as if they were alive again, which... 
makes us reluctant to wake up. Okay. Yes, that's also what we've observed in our investigation. How was that supposed to be like rude or something? So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, that'd be uh -huh. quite cruel to us. Okay. All of us understand the danger, but perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. Yeah, we're clueless, bro. All right, you know what? I'm about to tell about Lord Rukutifata and you will regret what you just said. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. You don't have a choice, brother. Before the conclusion of the investigation, they'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. No, because that's the apex. That's where it all goes wrong. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to cooperate. Then we make a law. So they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? Yes. It's hard to clearly say who's right and wrong. No, it's not. Everyone else is wrong. I am right. Boom. That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. Mm -hmm. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. I guess just let them die then. Whatever. Let them have their fun. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. Yeah. So, what should we do? Nothing. We let them go. Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. What? Pedrush, is there anyone here who's experiencing a marvelous dream right now? What? Uh, let me think. Uh, yes, this way. This way. Good. Please take us there. Please follow me to the dream cabin. <laughs> This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. Debbie, it's Debbie, Debbie and Katja, Debbie. I want to hear the Debbie and Katja arc. I can't help but be really curious though. Yeah. Just what are these dreams? I don't know, bro. All this commotion's making me wish I could experience this kind of dream too. No way. Not <laughs> on Paimon's watch. <laughs> all right, all right. No need to get so worked up. Wow, that was really worked up, wasn't it? How about you, Nasser? You don't want to respect me either. Gods can sense our pain. They can't understand how fragile we truly are. Oh yeah. Sorry, that's I like might have spoken a little out of turn just now. Nah, you're good. I just think that the gods really don't understand us sometimes. This is actually like this. Is, I just think politics don't understand us at times. This is a really like real life reflecting quest hey. so far, huh? What's so wrong about a beautiful dream? That it's fake. Actually. I can really sympathize with everyone's feelings on this. Yeah, of course, because you agree with them. Like, what? You're in the same boat. You? Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't Everyone mean to walk on What are you thinking, Pedro? Hold it together now. <laughs> Don't panic. Oh. She's only asleep and hasn't started sleepwalking. Mm -hmm. It seems she hasn't sunk too deep into her dream yet. Yeah. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Nah, we can just teleport. Don't worry about that. I'm Lesser Lord Kusanali, after all. You know what you also are? Great Lord Rukash. Now, don't be nervous. Uh huh. Just close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Imagine yourselves as waves gradually rolling onto the beach. That is, it sounds kind of scary, actually. <laughs> I'm going so fast. Nahida, I'm going so fast. Oh, I'm crashing on the beach. Oh, I scratched my body on the sand. Nahida, why do you make me do that? You slowly wash over the shore. Oh, and slowly. Sink into the sand. I'm. Hey, there's quicksand. I'm. I'm sinking through sand. I don't like this either. I'm in. I'm in, guys. I don't think that experience was very pleasing. I actually closed my eyes. I sank. I drowned. I almost died. As water, on the sand. Saved, by the bell. What? What's wrong, Traveler? Eee. You look a little disoriented. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. The dream situation is getting to me too, Paimon. I'm insane. Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. You're gonna see some, like, sweet madame somewhere. Anyway, seems like we've made it into the dream. How are you guys so not even asking what I just saw? I saw the brother. Speaking of, I should record that. Because it can be uh, background for the thumbnail. And then we'll actually have the full the full shebang, which will be great. I thought we would arrive at some familiar scene, mm -hmm. but we seem to have landed in a completely unfamiliar place. I knew from the start we'd be in one of these domains with mushrooms. I knew it. I knew it instantly. Whoa! So many giant plants. Whoa! Even in the sky. 
The sky is water? Theoretically, oh, oops. we should have gone straight into Debbie's dream. Yeah. Things do seem to have gone a bit sideways here. <laughs> Are you griefing us? Anyway, let's see if we can find any leads. Sure. We need a uh, string and a uh, slime. Slime ball. That's how you make leads. Anyway, here we go. And uh, mushrooms. How's it going? We don't have to be rivals. We can just be friends. In reality, I cannot escape. I see everything. The Lord Rukatata has decided we, in fact, cannot be friends. Quietly now. And I must moida you. Let's get it on. Really? Bonk. More? Well, this is like, I don't know. I understand they want to put some gameplay into this, but at this point, just make it a, just make it a, you know, a visual novel. <laughs> Killing five mushrooms is not really. It doesn't really add much to the experience for me. Oh, was I supposed to bounce on these? Jump. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> wow, so. Cool. And things. Yeah. Anything here? No. Maybe secret chest, but we'll never find out. Oh my god. Huh? A door? A door. Hmm. Wonder where it could lead. You call oh, this a it's door? not like we have any other way to go now. Let's go in and have a look. This does look kind of nice, though. Has a little background as well. Whoa, I like this. This is trippy, but it's kind of cool. This is where you see... This is the character menu background. Whoa. In the bar. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hey! This place looks familiar! Poopa Cafe. Isn't it Puspa Cafe? Yeah. I see the whole fam. Oh! Paimon sees Debbie! She's right over there! Debbie! Looks like we've come to the right place! Hey, Debbie. These alluring dreams often portray a scene from real life. Yeah. Which concurs with our previous findings. Okay. Really? Well, what about that space we were in just now? Maybe it was like some kind of hub, you know? The dreams may be connected. You can't mean... This is another collective dream? It is, in fact, another Samsara. Look, that's the dude with the eye bags. Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams... Yeah. I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Sure. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Sure. Ah, oh, Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Debbie! Oh, but there are some other people next to her. Mm -hmm. Uh, are they dreaming too? I don't know, maybe it's just her mom and dad she's imagining. If this space is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the others beside her are most likely the people she cherishes. Uh-huh. Anyway, we should confirm that first. Sure. Just to be sure. So we just walk up or what? Huh. How do we do that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just leave it to me. Okay. Okay. What? Oh. Cool. Yeah, well, I mean, I know this works. That's cool. Yo, what's up, brother? Uh, you're the one un interactive character. You don't even have a name. Hello, bartendee. Hey. Really? You don't work either? Killer. Misses, you're not even scared. This is a fake world. I see everything. Debbie, that was it, just on Debbie, man. That could have been so much cooler, like a little detective mini game. But it's like, no, just use use oh. E on Debbie. How could they be? What? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. How could they be? Huh? She sounds a little hesitant. She's in shock. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie mm -hmm. because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. Okay, fair enough. So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? I've been using this for months, Paimon. <laughs> uh, Paimon had better watch her thoughts from now on. Yeah, well, I've thought about it before, so we're doomed. <laughs> don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. Yeah. It's rather impolite. Well, you just took possession of my body a couple times that's also pretty impolite all right i need to get myself ready uh-huh 
It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. Okay. Uh, the Great Dendro Archon! <laughs> uh, what brings you here? Hello. I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but... Have you noticed <laughs> that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? Yeah. I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. What do you mean? They are fake. I get it. The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime <laughs> opportunity that we're able to gather here. She's pretty. I like her outfit a lot. Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. <laughs> we just returned from a fruitful adventure. <laughs> Memories? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Debbie. It's fake Debbie. Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Yeah, Debbie. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? Uh-huh. <sighs> Debbie. Sigh, Debbie. Yes. The reports from the Steambird were true. Yeah. The ship they were on struck a reef and sank. Uh-huh. And I never heard from Bossima and Gaspar again. No. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? You're not the real Bossima. Yeah. Trust your memories. Nothing you see here is real. Except for us. We're pretty damn real, but let's not, you know, picture that. I get it now. This is a dream, isn't it? Yes, Debs. But since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real <laughs> or not. I enjoy the way things are here. <laughs> I no longer have to face the tragedies of real life. Yeah, you do, because you're going to wake up, Deb. These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. But they're not the real ones, Debs. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream. Is there? There is, Debs. I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. Blurred lines. These dreams will always give you what you want. Yep. While reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you're not careful, you can get hurt. She's right. Don't worry. I still have control. <laughs> I won't let it go that far. Yeah, right. Are you sure? No. Hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks? <laughs> <laughs> this theory feels like someone's like orchestrating it. They're like, make them say something nice. Make them say, hey, guys, how about we play a little game of Uno, eh? <laughs> we get a little snack. Hey, guys. Yeah, it was like tea and snacks. Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. Nah, why are you talking to me like this, you weirdo? You can't just brush off something like this. We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from. <laughs> don't push it, Paimon. These are important people to Debs. <sighs> Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. I'm so upset. No, it's all right. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. Now that is good. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively harmless for you. Mm -hmm. But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Yeah, just keep living it. Huh. Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. <laughs> a strange voice? Okay. I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. Now, Debs, we need to do this now. People are in danger. Okay. Thanks for your help. What do you mean, thanks? She said she wasn't going to do it. Just as I expected. We're only on the surface of this dream. Oh. Let's go. We can go without her? Okay. Sure. Hey, Debbie. Hey. Debbie. It's all just a dream. It's all just a dream. Just me chilling with my bro. Oh. That is not even real. Me and my bro. <laughs> okay. Basima. I I think I need a moment to calm down. Hey, what's with the sad face? Hey, have a little snack, a little tea, man. Yeah, <laughs> there's no need to worry about all that complicated stuff. Uh-huh. They're like, one of us, <laughs> one of us. Join us in the post-life world. Look, it's animal character background. Whoa. Nahida is animal, whoa. Back in one of these places. I think. What are we doing here again? Sumeru, like, inside of domains are not as pretty as the Leo ones. And I mean, like, you know in the Shenha quest you could walk around? I think that was prettier. Uh, wait a second. We were just up there. No, down there? Uh, did we go up or down? 
We were under the water already, Paimon. Don't panic. This is how dreams work. They make no freaking sense. <laughs> We've left Debbie's dream, but the dream is still continuing onward. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where it'll lead us. All right, let's beat up some this mushrooms and keep going. This dream has the ability to create imaginary people, which is why people are so unwilling to wake up. Sure. If it weren't for what we just saw, Paimon might still find that a bit hard to believe. So, what awaits us further in the dream? I have a guess. If these dreams are connected, then there should be some sort of order to them. Okay. The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming means that she is not very deep in the dream yet. Yes. But the space we're in has been turned upside down. Dude. Do Just you like remember the, the characteristics life. of dreams that I mentioned earlier? Yeah. Oh, right! Dreams are chaotic. True. That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. Mm -hmm. And the deeper we go, the closer we'll get to the essence of the dream. Okay, let's go then. Right. Layers. So the like might onions be waiting for and us ogres. Deeper in the dream. Sorry. Yes. And we should get ready for whatever we may encounter. It's only going to be good stuff. No mushrooms in this dream. What in the world is this? Hmm. It looks like we may need to put something inside there. <laughs> don't don't give people wrong ideas now. This gem is a perfect fit. Boing. Look at this little bird. Look at how cute it looks. Look at this little big tomato looking ass. Hello. Help. Burn him up. You're dying, son. You fall. I like this thing. This is kind of cool. Is it gonna bloom? It's a pretty flower. I'm going. Oh my god, it's Animodia. Animodia be like. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. When it rains, it seems to disappear slowly. Yo. Yes, and it appears again as soon as the rain stops. It the most like scenic a flower, of it's chests. More like a dangerous slime that's trying to keep out of sight. <sighs> Bam. No! The chest! Huh? Are we back up here again? Uh, wait. Uh, Paimon's confused. Uh, Are we up here or down there? Good thing we didn't fall. <laughs> yes, we did. We just... <laughs> I want my chest, bro. I want my chest. I'll cut this, I'll cut this. I'll get back there. I get the chest. I cannot believe that just happened. I thought like I'd, it'd give me a warning. I know it gave you a little mark around. They wouldn't think it fucking teleport me out. Debs, get me back in. This is gonna take a while Ooh. anyway. Oh my god, quick! Whoa! When Leave it me alone. Rains, it seems to disappear this is what I did yes, it for, guys. Five Primo again, gems in a book. That's the life of a Genshin stops. gamer. Wait. It's less like a flower. And more like Can you believe it? Slime that's it took me like 15 minutes sight. for five Primo gems. And we're gonna say that it's worth it. That's the life right there. Now that was pretty good damage, anyway. Alright, cool. We can move on. Watch me, like, teleport back there anyway. After. No, we didn't I fall. <laughs> yes, we did. We just fell upwards. Oh, That's bro, that a meme my dad always used to Yahira. say. Falling upwards. Because we had, like, a I second floor. No like, a anymore. first floor and a second floor, right? And then the bottom floor. So if you fell from the third, or, like, the second floor to the first floor, <laughs> you would fall upward. Well, you'd fall... Uh, I, I don't know. I, it was a meme. <laughs> it was a... It was a local meme, okay? Anyway. Here you go. I got the little crystal. I put it in a little dendro leaf. Boop. I open the little door. I go through the little door. Oh my god, what happened here? Hello, that looks cool. Wait, weren't we Onion huts with infinite background. Earlier? This the oh, this is the hut. This is the same hut as where the dude met the girl. This is probably Yomon's dream. Yeah. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Didn't we warn him? He doesn't have a choice. Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Sure. Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deeply for his dreams to appear here. Yeah. 
But fortunately, he already knows this from before, so hopefully we'll be able to wake him up. Okay. Well, we'll see. Show us the money or not. Oh, it's his kid. He brought the little baby. A little baby. She's shy. Yaman! Yaman! Oh, it's you! Incredible. Incredible! I didn't know you would appear in my dream, too. You have a pretty little family, Ilman. Did you say dream? Wait, so you know this is a dream? Yeah, he's just chilling. Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in real life these days. <laughs> Here, let me introduce everyone. Mm -hmm. This is Minar, my yes. wife who I mentioned before. Uh huh. And this is our daughter, Hydar. Oh, a bunch of cuties. Hello. It's a great honor to meet the Dendro Archon. But is this just a manifestation of his thoughts? Whoa, Dad. You know the Dendro Archon? Mm -hmm. That's amazing! Cool, right? And what's this? <gasps> is it a new toy? What? Okay. No, it's Paimon! <laughs> not a toy! <laughs> anyway, now's not the time for that! Uh-huh. Nahida, this doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting. Yeah. <sighs> You're right. Let me think for a bit here. Yeah, Mon, did you secretly go back to that place again on your own? Oh, right. We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier. Paimon thought he'd gone home. Sorry. Nah. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance to see her mother. So did you go there physically with your daughter? I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike. You did. So I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any monsters along you the way. You better not start walking off a cliff again. Yes, I'm glad too. I didn't expect her to grow up so fast. But what is this? What is what is she? Is she just a manifestation of the thoughts of the dude? It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. Hey, don't, what the hell? No, don't talk like say, that. Don't say that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream, it's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this way. Uh-huh. What should we do now? Should we tell him the truth? Sure. You can... You can let me break the news. Okay. I should be the one to do it. Okay. I'm sorry, but... I should tell you that your dream did not create us. <laughs> we are real people with our own consciousness. This is very pretty lighting, by the way. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream, and we've already learned some things about it. Mm -hmm. So you mean, there's something nefarious with this dream as well? Supposedly, I don't know, it's it's really dragged out. I'm, at this point, I'm not sure anymore. Let me record this as well for that little nihihi. <laughs> you never know, maybe it is low effort. You know, sometimes less is more, and that thumbnail could look nice. Hmm? Ilmon, what's going on? What is going on? It seems... The reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. How did he bring his daughter in his dream, though? Huh? Is mom leaving? I think you and dad are leaving. Maybe. But in all likelihood, that is indeed how things will end. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh? No, mom, you can't leave! Yeah, well... I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. <laughs> Don't worry, Hydar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Don't cry. Your screech is unbearable. <laughs> Minar doesn't understand any of this. Yeah, neither, neither... No one does. I'm fully aware that this is a dream. So that's why I've never told her the truth, but... She's standing right there, and you've admitted that it's a dream twice. Never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. You're a bum. I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. But regardless of whether this dream is Ow. good or bad, you're here to resolve it. We're here right? to resolve something. Yes. Then please, let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. Alright, fine. We'll go to not Debbie, not this dude. What was regardless the last girl's name? Regardless of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, uh -huh. I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. Okay. But does this dream really have to disappear? I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Sorry. Sorry. <sighs> okay. I see. Mm-hmm. Please, come this way. 
You can go even deeper uh, into the dream by heading in this direction. How does he know? Okay, plant lady time. I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become. And the more you want to stay. Wow. The answer you're looking for may also be found there. I hope so. Go ahead. I'll be honest, the floating boxes and destroyed houses that are floating don't really make me want to feel... Thank like, you for helping I'm, us. I'm happy to be and here. I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. Bruh. I'm just an ordinary person, after all. Democracy, bro. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? Yes, how dare thou... I'll be right have behind an opinion? You. Nasty. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. So true. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. So you managed to bring your daughter in a dream. And I was somehow... Ah, whatever. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it, Hydar, Minar, Ilman. Bad. Are we, Nahida? Look, they're fake. That depends on how you define good and bad. Yeah. I'm sorry, did I just skip both dialogues by doing that? Everybody? Is this too cruel for Hydar? I don't know. How can I ever get her to come to terms with this? Yeah, you're kind of- it's kind of weird that you were selfish and you brought your kid in here. You go right on ahead. I'll catch up with you later. Cheer up, Dad. And Mommy, too. She's the strongest one. Thank you, Hydar. My baby. My baby. Look at the little baby. Look at the little fam. They're kind of cute, though. I do wish they were just together normally, because they seem very nice. But maybe, even that's not true. In the end, what do we know? Nothing. Nothing. We're just a little bean in a big, big it's world. The same place again. Uh huh. This place is almost like a flight of stairs that connects all the dreams together. Yeah. How many times do you have to point that out? <laughs> but they appear to be getting more and Whoa. more aggressive. Uh, but this more vicious. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Mm hmm. Right. Something seems to be off <laughs> about our theory. I said. I was processing regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Ilman is clearly aware that he's dreaming, and he's enjoying it. Yeah. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost seemed more awake. Okay. I believe we're on the right track, but we just need another explanation. All right, plant lady. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper. It's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. Yes. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Bro, what do you mean? <laughs> yes, I would. With the whole samsara thing. <laughs> Sometimes, Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real. The whole samsara thing, what do you mean? But it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about <laughs> other things. <laughs> like sticky honey roast. Yeah, fair. Listen. We're real beings living in the real world, mm -hmm. and that's where our focus should be. Easier to say than to do, Nihihi. <laughs> this also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. Fair. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, mm -hmm. then our dreams will become far more substantial. So true. Oh, wait! Paimon's starting to get it now! Only now? Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. I get it. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? I love Nyana. Constructing a realistic Nyana's, dream consumes a similar the energy. In the dreams. <laughs> they have some potassium in them. Nyana, Nyana, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy, which means there's another dream out there that's responsible for Does this. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here like Milu during the Subzero's festival? Yes, yeah, the plant lady. If we oh my god, the dream up, is in the plant. Oh my god, it's end, so deep. Right? The dream is in the plant and the lady. The lady that left to inspect the abyss has put the dream in the plant. Mm hmm most likely. That's crazy. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha, and now the Akasha has been turned off. Bro, that's nuts. This has nothing to do with the Aranara. And know humans that. are not capable of creating a collective dream, which means... The host has something to do with the Akasha. Huh? So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? I remember some other quests, some dude tried to go away with it, but I don't think that's related to this. Mm, that's impossible. But they are See, probably the a scholar at the, the academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Yeah. Even so, how did they manage to do it? 
And how did they choose the host? It's so smart because a plant's a living being, you know? It's a living being, dude. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. I know. We're going to go to the last lady. We're going to be like, so you're the host? What the hell? And then it's going to be like, wait, we can go even deeper. And then we go into the plant subconscious. And then maybe we talk to the lady that's gone to the abyss. All right. Once we know their motive, all the questions will resolve themselves. I figured it out. It took me a hundred thousand years and a million hints. And going through this extremely fun little domain thingy. What's the point of that one? Ah, le baptisme le bishop, le bonjour. Game's up. Game's up, dude. Bam. Let's get it on! Bam. Boom. But this little bishop more like dead. Five primo gems. Imagine I'd have to restart from here. Imagine your internet dies here. You actually have to do the whole last quest from entering the first lady's dream again. What? I got attacked as I spawned. Oh, it's raining. Perfect. Gloves off. Gloves off. Mask off. The mask off. The mask off. off. Alright. Anyway. Beedy boop pop. Skibbity boop. I don't know if this was intended. I'm just following the little marker blindly. Like these people in the dreams. All the water Ow. that used to be here has turned into rain. Yeah, and because let's get it's upside here down. The water level rises. Yeah, what she said. Is it actually rising? That's kind of cool. Oh my god, it is. That's so cool. Run. Do you run? Well, the water level isn't rising anymore. That's really cool, though. <laughs> Can you please stop? Can we not get over this? Oi. M8. Thank you. Jeez. We need two? Do we? We have two. That's one. That's we two. Finally made it. Oh. The destination is right ahead. No, it's not. There's more. It's the plant lady. And then we go into the plant. I can't wait. I'd love to be completely wrong. This is where she got wow. the plant. This is where she's 10 years old. This is what it used to look like. This is pretty, though. It's so pretty. Uh, well, it's just new to Paimon in this dream. It looks like uh, the bazaar before the bazaar became the bazaar. This should be the final destination. Oh no, I don't like those movies. Huh? Really? Yeah, it's more ordinary than I imagined. Yeah, these are just ordinary city streets. Mm -hmm. I have powers related to dreams. So it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created by dreams. Is that the plant? I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted this dream will be able to come here. Uh-huh. There are so many people here. How can we find the home? Nahi'i. Don't Nahi -i. worry. I have a way. Nahi'i. And then explain it again. Press E and then Nahida can do things. See? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? That's crazy. Hey! You're wrong, you're fake. Kian. Denise is always so calm. <sighs> I wish I were the same. Hey, Kian. <laughs> That's a bit noisy today, isn't it? Hey, don't you think we should, like, get teen snacks together? Like... Huh? You think so? <laughs> I don't feel anything out of the ordinary. True. Oh, well, maybe you're right. It's always been quite peaceful here. Too peaceful. Are you the same dialogue? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, oh. Kian is a real person, though. He Shadia has such good taste. So true. I can never go wrong with her opinion. True. No, it doesn't seem to be her. She's real, though. She's a real person. What should I buy? Hey, tell me what you think, Shadia. Shadia. Ooh, how about this? I think it Shadia would really with suit a melody you. In my head. Let me have a look. <laughs> Who are you, man? Nice snacks. Can I have some, perhaps? Oh, he's here with the fam. He made it through, Ilman. Who doesn't want a dream to last forever? He's just entered the dream recently. It's definitely not him. Watch me eat this, and it's this. However, <sighs> however, what? Who doesn't want? No. I went through the thing. You know. I've heard that plants grow better if you play music for them. This is her. Oh my god, is that how the plant grows and blooms? And on that note, it's been a while since I last heard you play. Uh-huh. Sorry, 
I've been Sorry. a little busy these last couple days. Mm-hmm. Mos Moses. She's got the same eyes. <laughs> he ran after. Wait, wait for me. Oh, the Dendro Archon. What a pleasant surprise. Uh, you're weird. You're sus. Hmm? Oh, welcome, Great Dendro Archon. Oh, she's gonna say it'll be And your companions, too. Welcome. Thank you. I'm Amira. I run the I flower know. shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Amira? Yes, how may we help you? Amira was, uh... You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. <laughs> what an epic face-off. The dreams owner. <laughs> no, man, maybe it's not the plant. My plant arc was completely unhinged. <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. Wow. I'm sorry, Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Mm hmm. Why don't you go back to the flower shop? I'll come help you a little later. I am the master of this dream, so I can quite easily control what happens here. Okay, of course, dear. I'll see you later. Amira, do you not worry about what I'm about to do to these poor people that have intruded into the dream? She's just an empty shell, bro. <laughs> it appears that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person like this. Mm, let me guess, you are an Abyss Herald. To avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. How well would you say you understand this dream? I understand it pretty poorly, I'll be honest. This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. Mm -hmm. As for you, you found a unique way to become the owner of this dream, going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. <laughs> if we shut down the dream, you're dead. Got him. Given up the ability to wake up? Yeah. <laughs> Impressive. Yes. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. Yes, I wonder who this man is. Please, tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. In return, I'll answer the question you're most curious about. You have left behind some trails. It's simple. Apart from you, this space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created here. Uh huh. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. Because this is your dream. How can I wake up a person who's already awake? True. Fascinating. Yes. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. True. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, it's pretty sick, but I really wonder why you made the place look like such a... Wasteland. <laughs> but even knowing all of that, one question remains. How did you do it? How did you do it? Is it the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. Uh-huh. I uploaded my entire consciousness uploaded. into the Akasha when it was still running. On YouTube. Crazy. Your entire consciousness? That's insane! Actually, this all started because of an accident. Mm -hmm. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. What was it then? No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. Ah. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one is the one shared sentiment between all our dreamers. Yes. That's right. That's However, right. human models are too complicated. Sure. Only the Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful Nyana. enough for me to generate and sustain my models. Mm -hmm. The Akasha is truly magnificent. Mm -hmm. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. And even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. Well, I, the thing is, right, it's not even that bad if it was just his dream and he was doing this by himself. But why are the other people involved? Does, does he need them to keep the dream alive? Even using just crude methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. Yeah, but you know it's fake, though. <laughs> I named my first work Amira. Uh-huh. She is the hostess of the flower shop. Huh? You mean the girl we just saw? Yes. She and I entered the academia on the same day. Starting with admission procedures, we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. What a coinky dink. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. <laughs> we studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. Wow. Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. Uh-huh. 
However, Ella's our leader took her from me. No. So you're gathering others like you? Yes. I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. Oh, no. This way I could connect them to a network, and Amira could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm, human personality. Awful. <laughs> to improve my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well, and became a part of the network. <laughs> He's so proud. <laughs> So, technically speaking, it's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't wake up. Pretty sure that's what was discussed earlier, yeah? Yes, because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. Nyana. I became imprisoned in the very network I had constructed. Mm -hmm. At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation... I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. These other people, no? That means everyone in the network yeah. is providing you with Nyana energy! Now we get, and now it's a problem, old man. That's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. Yeah, for your personal needs, bro. What do you mean? You're actually off I provide a beautiful dream, and in return... I harvest their Nyana energy as fuel for the dream. You keep you make them delusional. They can wake up any time they wish. People need to sleep anyway. <laughs> so why not have some beautiful dreams while they rest? Yeah, you're a sweet talker. I agree. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for ourselves. Mm hmm Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. <laughs> I don't understand this at all, but I just want to spend some more time with my family. You're fake. I don't want them to be sad. You're not a real person. I'm sorry, Maynard. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon. I hope you can understand. Are we bad people? <laughs> you don't need to gather around here. It's all right. The Great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate <laughs> towards her people. <laughs> she won't interfere with what we're doing I, I still feel extremely weird about this. I don't think I'd... I think I'd side against it still. Uh-oh. Now he's playing dirty. Yeah. He used the imaginary people he created to influence the real people. He turned the real dreamers against us. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You are evil willed. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. Unplug the dream. <laughs> if you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, then there's nothing the Archon can do. Except for snap the fake people out of existence. They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. Mm -hmm. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? <laughs> that's, not what we're, that's not what we're saying. If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand the absolute devastation of loss, that's the build up the then whole perhaps quest. you wouldn't be so cold the absolute towards us. devastation of loss is permanent lingering like story bomb that's gonna fall. She's not cold at all. You don't know the first thing about her. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, you could have become a sage of the new generation. Real. Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the academia <laughs> by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. True. You equated people's feelings with cold Nyana energy and deprived them of the pain that they have to face. Yes. You lured them into these dreams and even now, Remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly For is. Real pain, luring, those kinds of things haven't existed here from the moment this world was created. Yeah, you just suppressed them. They've existed. She's right here. This is Ilmon's child, Hydar. Okay. <laughs> My daughter. What's wrong with her? I told you, she's the savior. She's the strongest one. This dream relies on a set network. Which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. Oh, he tested it on a child. Carefully think back and retrace your steps. Okay. I secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Mm hmm. Minar was already there waiting for me. Yeah. And Hydar was able to see her mother. Uh huh. Uh, you mean 
she isn't actually the oh. real Hydar? Thank God, that's way better. That's that's a relief. No, because unlike you, she can't enter this dream. It was either that or because I thought I don't understand what he meant with like this whole implant thing anyway. The moment you came into this dream, it created a Hydar to realize your wish of reuniting with your family. Fake. So, tell me, where's the real Hydar? <sighs> God. She's still out there on the mountainside. By herself. That's right. And she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. <laughs> it took her so long to say this. Not to mention the monsters in that area. Mm hmm The situation is very dangerous. Truly, and we're here talking with you so we can't save her. If Hydar's still out there, then... Then? What are you talking about, Dad? I don't understand. Wow, you've been lied to. I must wake up right now. I can't leave her there alone. Too late. Too late. It's doomed. Oh. <laughs> it seems the others have also remembered something. There's other real people in the real world we do care about. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. This is human nature, but it is also one of their weaknesses. Sure. However... Why are there still so many people striving to move forward, even when they know the path ahead is dangerous and painful? I'm gonna start sobbing, stop it. It's because people don't only live for themselves. Yeah, let's go. They have families, loved ones, friends, and communities. Communities! They have friends. dreams that they are still trying loved to achieve. Ones. Yeah. But in this dream, you showed them only the most comfortable and soothing things. This entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. Uh-huh. It's all just a well-devised scam. Oof. It seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. <laughs> I'm out of here. I still have so many things I haven't done. They're all just leave. That's it? That's all it took? <laughs> I thought gods didn't understand humans. That would have explained why they created such a flawed world where countless tragedies took place. True. I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. But unfortunately, it means nothing now. He closed the dream, oh no. If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with Amira. You won't have enough banana energy, though. As long as this dream continues to exist, you'll come back. Humans aren't as strong as you think. Mm -hmm. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. <laughs> it's so much less dramatic. <laughs> it's time to purge all the extraneous data and noise. Alright. Can we fight a human? That'd be a cool boss fight. Oh, what the hell? It's not a robot. That scared me. All of you, please ah. get out of here and find somewhere safe. Yo, reader dream. the master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with the snap of a finger. How dare thou? Don't worry. They'll wake up before they get hurt. Mira doesn't like to see others in pain. <laughs> what a you weirdo. Know what's good for you. Leave now. Leave now. Give me one second, though. Real quick. I see everything. She's just dot dot dotting. Okay. Die. Try on the hee hee, try on the hee hee. Gotcha. Not as good as mine. Ow. Was I, so but I, just, I died to a little virgin, can you believe it? Cringe. Germinate. I needed a healer. I should have brought a healer. Let's just beat this dude up. Bop, boop, bop, boop, bop, boop. Got him. Out of here. Oh. Cutscene time. <laughs> you haven't won just yet. I really know. This dream is mine! He makes himself if an abyss If I go herald. into hiding here, not even an Archon can ever find me. And as long as people yearn for happiness, they then will return what? here and rebuild this paradise! <sighs> okay. Hey, Zap! Go in, Paimon. What's that? This dream is I hear Paimon trying his green speaking. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Oh, what the hell? That is incredibly cool, though, this cutscene. That was done so well. What are you doing? Amira. She's also gonna turn into a monster. Too Amira. late, buddy. Amira! What is she becoming? Himself. Imagine it's him. Imagine she becomes him. 
Are you all right? I don't feel well. He's kind of tanky, though. <laughs> Become him? It'd be so deep. No, no, no. Please, oh, it's no. just a monster cube triangle dude. Oh, wolf. Dude, imagine how deep it would have been if she became him. Because they're all becoming monsters. <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> Amira question mark? Rampant nya 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 banana Ruin my flowers. Whoa, his name is Square. What should I do? Where did go? Where did Square Square go? He left because he doesn't want you anymore. Why? No, not Square Square. <laughs> I can't believe they throw Square Square under the bus like that. Yeah. Let's get it on! Ha. I will not win this fight. Amira question mark is too strong. I don't got nothing anymore. Just, Just shut up, Square Square. Just decide for yourself. Just decide for yourself. <laughs> Just your choice. Oh my goodness, they're bringing in the bees. The beasts and the bees and the boys and the bees. To memory. And the beep and the poop oh. and the floop. It's a gadget truth. 30k. It's still unknown. Uh, who? Uh, that's over. Is it over? But, what happened just now? I don't know. He's not very proficient in using the Akasha's technology. And he spent a lot of Nyana energy creating monsters. <laughs> now the system is out of control. <laughs> and his, his, his like copy of the perfect woman lady he's in love with has become a monster too all the people he created also turned into monsters yeah including amira deserved it's terrible even for a dream don't care even paimon's freaked out it is freaky uh, paimon can't imagine what they're going through nightmare fuel the good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided yeah no problem now we only need to wake up the people here and let them return to their real lives yeah amira my dear Amira. Am I supposed to feel bad for this guy? Because I really don't. They're all gone. It was just a big dream after all. It always has been. I couldn't change my fate. And my knowledge turned out to be useless. Mm -hmm. What a cruel world. You're a cruel person. Do you still think this is our fault? Yes. I don't care about that anymore. Oh, I know it's my fault, but now it doesn't matter anymore. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into monsters. <laughs> This dream will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Deserved L. Let me disappear with Amira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. Oh no, this is the lesson. We need to actually make him live. And then he lives with the pain. Because that's what's like important, right? That's it the life seems lesson. That everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. I want to say that he's only getting what he deserves. I do not feel sorry for him. I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. Yeah, maybe. It wasn't even real, though. Whatever. After comprehending the hollowness of the unreal, it's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Okay. Existence? <laughs> I'm different from the others. I've long given up everything outside of my consciousness. Okay, sure. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here and put it inside a knowledge capsule. And put it back in your body. The academia has probably kept your there body, you go. so you should be able to wake up soon. That's crazy. No need. Just let me disappear. No. Reality means nothing to me you now. You must suffer in reality. This isn't compassion. I won't let you escape there you your go. punishment by simply there disappearing. You go. <laughs> yes, Nihihi, let's As go. As for your life after that, it will be up to you how you want to exist. Damn. All right, Traveler and Paimon, we should go back. About time. Um, I want some snacks and tea with uh, with uh, and Bananis, friends. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. Yes. I love wrapping up things and unwrapping things too. Unwrapping things on Christmas kind of nice. We could have just casually walked it away. Oh. Oh? Uh huh. What was that? What's wrong, Nahida? Tell us. Don't hide this. Uh, oh, nothing. No dramatic irony uh, or whatever. Tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after Nahi. they wake up. Bro, we're all lying to each other. We're not telling her about Rukasha Fashvasha, and then she's not telling us about seeing things either. It's all a big lie. Trust no one. 
can legit count on no one but yourself. Oh, great. You're awake. Took a while, didn't it? Everybody has started to wake up, and we've heard similar reports from around the city as well. Let's go. From the looks of it, you were able to successfully resolve the issue. Let's go. Yes, though it took us a good deal of effort. Yes, I'm exhausted. There will be many people gathering here shortly, so please do your best to maintain order. Guards! I need to go to the academia with them now, but oh. we'll be back soon. Sure. I definitely feel like going there, and I feel like coming back after. Are we going to ask after. about that scholar? Yes, but it may take some time for him to wake up after mm -hmm. his consciousness returns to his body. Yeah. We can leave the rest to the Matra. Sure. Mahamatra Sino? Hello, friends. It's me. It's me. Hey, I'm the first Sage of Boer. What's up? Oh, it's the great Sit Dendro down. Archon. To me, it sounds like you? more like stand. Because, you know, you're not like standing. You're not sitting. Because like, if you were sitting, it makes sense that you're... Okay. I would like to check the registration records of a Kasharawar scholar. Mm -hmm. He should be in an unconscious state right now. Okay. Just a moment. <laughs> That's so easy. Oh, I mean, I guess she is the Archon. Never mind. I was like, is that how easy it is? After Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Benuni who's been unconscious for a while. Okay. The cause was improper operation of the Akasha. Sure. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, and is still receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Okay. Huh? Isn't his name Moses? I mean, he thought that was mad cool. Moses. I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. Sure. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra, and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. <laughs> That's so crazy. Understood. But for safety reasons, I need to know why. Because I'm the Dendro Archon, and shut up. <laughs> it's simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. <laughs> He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, oh. I'll inform the General Ooh. Mahamatra of all the details. Bro, Sido has it so rough every time. Like, at the end of the All Hatham quest, needed to come in and get some dude that did crime. After Nahida quest, need to come in and get some dude that did crime. I see. I'll take care of this right away. Yes. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. Instead of being sit or stand, you would all be walk. Mm hmm No problem. Mm hmm <laughs> All right. Everyone should have gathered at the moment oh, of truth by now. Back. Let's head back. I love it. I love it. Woohoo. Sit. What's up, I'll sit? take care of it as soon as possible. Don't worry. Well, how soon is right now? It doesn't seem like you're really taking much action, sit. I've got to be careful not to slip up with my work, <laughs> especially in front of someone as important as the Dendro Archon. So true, Sit. So true. Watch me fight, die from fall damage. Oh, never mind. Let's be quiet and just listen in. All right, all ears. I wonder what she's going to say. I love candy. Hello, oh. all of you who have just woken up. Hello. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. Mm -hmm. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. Uh-huh. I sincerely apologize for that. Nah, she doesn't. Dreams have amazing power. Mm -hmm. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity. Mm -hmm. And help those with aspirations achieve their desires. Right. But dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses, mm -hmm. and distort the truth. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. An evil man. As I've said before, I am still learning and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. Yes, she can. She doesn't know she can. But just it's take a good suppressed. look around <laughs> you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. Uh huh. You should be proud that you've been able to gather here and look toward the future together. I think we're gonna say like, ah, oh, she's had so much stuff to deal with today already. Let's not mention Greater Lord Rukadevata, right? That's what Lumine's gonna tell herself. Well, we're gonna tell ourselves. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of life? <laughs> What's the purpose of Who my am existence? I? Why, Why do I, I keep experiencing pain and loss? Yeah. Of course. The most comfortable choice is to stop progressing. Give up thinking. And just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Sure. Whenever you have such thoughts, 
Just look at the people and things around you. Mm -hmm. Some people work hard all day so that their families hmm. can have a hot meal on the table at night. Cute. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Mm -hmm. Some venture in search of the world hey, secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet venture. still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. Yeah. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. It's so funny, I've, I've recently had a conversation with someone about this. <sighs> Look, friends and family will remember what you've done. And even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Uh -huh. Therefore, many people will strive forward to forge new paths, even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Yeah. Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, you'll come to know the answers to those big existential questions. Mm -hmm. Yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. Sure. But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it will ever become. She... You are free to choose how you want to live your lives, but as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. Uh-huh. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Oh Nahida my god, so she many people. To speak with us alone. It seems like she went oh. to the plaza in front of the academia. We're just gonna be here for half an hour clicking everyone. Pedro. Finally, it's over. It all went perfectly, but it was way too tiring. <laughs> oh. Hey, dude. I'm really glad I reached out to you earlier. Yeah. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to handle this situation on our own. Sure. You did a great job as well. Yeah, keep it up, brother. Shout out to you for being a king. Oh, they don't think. So dizzy. I think I'm about to lose my lunch. Your lunch? Oh, <laughs> I like throw up. Hello. Thank you for rescuing me. Uh huh. I'm really sorry. You're really stupid. Luckily, Hydar wasn't injured because of my stupid mistake. True. Dad said you're amazing. <laughs> you're real heroes. Thank you. You really saved the situation. I'll be honest. You're the little champion in this story. Kion. I'm still a little dizzy from sleeping so long. Uh-huh. Just give me a moment here. Yeah, take your time, home slice. The Bibi! I discovered that Nasser and I get along pretty well. Whoa. We both have pretty straightforward personalities. I actually thought she would go with, um, with, uh, him. It also turns out we both disagreed with a Dendro Archon. <laughs> one in real life and one in the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, dude. <laughs> Fucking got him good, man. Should we celebrate and go eat something special? Yeah, totes. Totes should. Wait, Katya was an adventure. I didn't even. Oh, that's Katya. We should buy her a drink later. Oh, dude, cute. Katya, no way. I'm getting ready to go on an adventure, and I'm taking this plant with me. <laughs> I shouldn't just sit here Nerd. waiting for her to come back. Professor okay, that's Aisha good. That's good. I was so determined to explore those secrets, so. I should go take a look too. How Thank cool you. was my angle though? May we meet again in the future. Imagine like she put the this consciousness in the plant and this was what creating dreams. That was such a cool potential arc. I think that would have been sick. What you I thinking? See All this time I never realized this is what Professor Aisha wanted. Exactly. How did I not see it earlier? You weren't mature enough. Tana and Enos, I don't know if we ever seen this. Since we were Enos. neighbors in the dream, how about we rent a place together? Cute. Sounds good. I can't afford a house on my own anyway, but I'm sure life will get better. Okay, cute. I like to see it. What are you thinking? I guess it'll take some time for me to get used to my new life. Your old life, you but mean? That's fine with me. Your old life. I'm so happy I finally found a place to stay. Aww, let's go. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. That's so that happy end the quest moment right there. Hey, what you thinking, little one? Can I seriously not scan you? Don't start it, don't start it. Maybe I wasn't close enough. There's no way, no thoughts head empty. Really? I can't read Nahida's thoughts. You're amazing, Nahida! Uh huh. Even Paimon was nearly won over by that scholar in that dream. True. Well, no, not he's true. very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature. Uh huh. But perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long ago. Yes. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Mm -hmm. 
ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. Sure. But as long as you can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. You've also learned a lot, Nahida. Huh? What makes you say that? You can really empathize with others now. Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Yeah. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You did a good job. <laughs> Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey, and several of them have touched my heart. Yeah. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong, and what they wanted was also not unreasonable. Sure. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. Yeah. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. Hmm, right. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. Mm-hmm. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. Yeah, nobody's capable of having absolute empathy. You should be a little more confident in yourself. <laughs> all right. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. Yeah, this is targeted at us, the gamers. <laughs> I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Capital Y. Benuni, or Mercedes, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. Mm -hmm. But I have a vague feeling that this isn't true. Really now? The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. Yeah. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. What a shot. Huh. Did she see something in the dream too? Yes. But when I opened my eyes, the feeling was gone without a trace. Uh-huh. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer <laughs> see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased. Uh huh. But I can still see the slight indentations of where the words had been written. So she's just aware. But now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. Okay. It's enough that I can tell I was once supported by that warmth. Ah, cute. And its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. Yeah, okay. If I Good dwell mindset. too much on its exact nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. Sure. I gave a speech Didn't to know those English saying people. Too. So if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. Great <laughs> <laughs> Rurik Devata has really shaped Nahida through her actions. Even if she has forgotten, Nahida's mind and willpower are the proof that she once existed. Instead of telling her the truth, I should respect their decisions. Hey, what's with that serious See, I was gonna say, it was so weird to suddenly just be like, yeah, I'm gonna tell her. I don't know where. You keep looking like there's something you want to say. Is there <laughs> anything you want to tell me? Nah, it's not important. Uh, I forgot. School. <laughs> okay, since we just woke up, let's stretch a little bit. Nah, I'm okay. A new day is about to begin. Yep, I'm gonna go to sleep. And fade out. Bada bim, bada boom. Complete. Ah, lingering warmth. Sapentia oramandis tup Anyway, that was pretty cool. I like that. Um, I do still feel sometimes these quests are a little bit dragged out. Uh, I don't mind it, per se. It's, it's Usually it's nice. Sometimes it's a bit much. This time around, I don't know. I was in a good mood. I kind of was hoping it'd be a cool quest. But the story quests are always... I feel like the recipe is starting to become really similar in every one. Every one of them. So I kind of like it when it's a bit more original. Ito's quest was really nice in comparison, but I don't know if that was a character quest. I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe it was. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is just a nice little, little VOD kind of style thing, so that I can record the second part, or at least what I think is the second part, on Wednesday, Your when that comes out. Hopefully on the new PC. The if not, dead. <laughs> if not, dead. Um, and then the expiration is coming very soon on the main channel, so I'm very excited for that. Mostly for that, because that's gameplay, and gameplay is nice. Alright, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Lots of love, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.